Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Dendy Chess and welcome back to another DR survival video. Today I will do something stupid. Um, I will try to beat the bandit base without armor at all. I will just be naked, just like this, just like person over here. Um, and I will try my best to actually beat the bandit base and see if it's possible or not. The reason why I do this is because there's some reasons actually. First being, uh, I always use polar armor, right? Um, every video that I took, I always use polar armor. And I think that's a little bit, um, I don't know, like, yeah, I know, like, uh, polar armor is still overpowered, right? But what happens if I don't actually use polar armor? In fact, what happens if I don't use armor at all? Um, will it work right because uh, there are, the other reason will be because some people will actually many of the players um think that it is actually impossible to do bandit base but i i just do it fine in fact um i would say that bandit base is much more easier than fighting queen b previously i fought queen b and i won right and at what cost i lost four times i died four times and it took me three episodes just to wrap that video up, right? Um, so if you think that uh, bandit base is difficult already, then why? Then wait until you uh, beat the queen bee because it's actually very difficult in this version, especially with polar armor nerf. Um, so yeah, um, I'm just gonna prove that it's still doable even without armor whatsoever. So what would be the strategy, right? The strategy will be kind of similar with the uh, Queen B fight actually. I will use mashed potato because this is again mashed potato and Oka is uh, quite kind of complement each other, right? 25 plus 25 which is 50. And then after that the Blini itself will give me 100. So that will put me in 150, right? And then I can still eat another food which will be chicken gift. Now this is diff different, right? Um, when I beat the Queen P, I used a uh, flying spaghetti monster because that increased damage by 25% to mutants. However, the thing is that these bandits over here, they are no mutants, they are human, right? So there's actually a counterpart for that, which will be chicken give this damage to people increase by 25%. So um it will still work right and then what about the strategy right the strategy will still be the same which trying to kill the snipers in the center and then go left right just go hide behind the tree or something uh, i will also still use the demon mask because hit chance 25 percent i will i just want to have 100 percent chance of hit because um if i miss then it will be bad also i don't eat Pizza, it means that I cannot have four action points uh, every turn instead of three. I will just have three every turn. It means that I cannot basically stun lock the opponent because this requires two action points. Because I have the gunner perks, it means I will only need two action points. And then if I have four action points every turn, it means I can do this two times, right? Pretty much stun lock every bandit. Uh, but it cannot be the case here, so I would actually have to, I guess, try to have work of that, right? And yeah, also, by the way, Chicken Cave will heal by 10, as well as Mashed Potato by 4, so that's 14, right? Um, my goal will be having 100 HP, as well as using Bryocarm, just to extend my HP a little bit. Uh, like this so that this can bring me to uh, no not that one uh, prior card this one 150 right uh, as you can see this is full health 100 but i can still actually took another uh, health which will be 150 i think prior card is the the only medicine or the only thing that can increase hp or health point by 150 i think this is the most that you can have in game um I don't think any strange mushroom increase uh, that high, I'm not sure, but yeah, uh, it's prior calm, right? 150, we'll have to use that. But first, I will have to drop my HP to 86, just so that I can have, uh, after 86 HP, I will be healed at 100, and that 
will allow me to use the bryocarm, right? So I guess I will just dance a little bit over here or walk uh, back and forth. Also, by the way, I use brick house over here just so that I can store my uh, in my stuff, right? While I'm doing this kind of nonsense over here. Again, I will drop this to uh, until 86%, I think. Um, but oh, actually, I will use my armor first because um, just in case I got ambushed, right? Uh, I don't want to have random encounter, actually. Um, also, I will also use pets, which will be my Raven. The reason why is because Raven actually has high dodge chance. I know, I know, uh, I rely on dodge chance, right? But the thing is that Raven has uh, innate high chance anyway, so I would say that um, most of the time, anyway, Raven will dodge, right? Unless you're very unlucky. Uh, and I guess I will try to see if I'm lucky enough or not, right? Um, so yeah, uh, okay, eight, 86, that should be enough. Um, also for the weapons, I will just use uh, Saipuha, PKM, and Rocket Launcher. Just the same as previously, right? Maybe another video I will, you know, uh, do something even more stupid, right? Like having no weapons at all, probably. I don't know, I don't think that's possible, but... Maybe I will not use PKM, maybe I will not use Saipuha, maybe I will use other weapons, but that for another video, right? But for now, I will just be naked, I guess, and then start eating, I guess, as well. Um, yeah, my pets are ready, which is the Raven. Raven is ready, um, weapons ready, I think, yep, weapons ready. Oh, I don't have rockets, okay, so that's unfortunate, I only have 27, but I, I guess we, should, we just have to deal with it, I guess. Uh, I forgot to recharge my rocket. Uh, rival ammo, I still have 5,000, which is fine. Um, okay, so I guess we can start from mashed potato, and then after that, Oka, just like that. Uh, also, my HP is now 90. And then after that, I use the Pliny over here, and then for the final touch, I use Chicken Give for the extra damage to people, right? That to compensate the Polar Armor anyway, because Polar Armor gives me 50%, now with chicken cave i have 25 percent extra damage as well as Pliny as well which will give 10 percent every time i kill um and yeah now i'm at 100 now for the final touch i will use the bryocarm just to extend my health uh now i'm at 250 just like that uh without armor we can e extend our hp by 250 basically right also, it can go far if you have the strapping lead, I think, like the perk that can increase your health, but I don't have that because I don't think that's useful, uh, so I'm not using that. Okay, so pretty much we are stacked now. We have the buffs, we have the raven um, over here, we have the mask, we also have the weapons ready to go. I guess we can just go for it, right? Yeah, let's start. A large and heavily fortified base. The local gang is a threat to the entire area around it. Let's start the raid. I'm not sure how much damage we will get. Uh, okay, PKM, uh, rocket launcher, and Saipuha, just like that. Start battle with Raven. Okay, so can we actually kill? That's the first question, right? Um, okay, so here we go. This is interesting. We will do damage for uh, somewhere between 22 to 2800. So that's in average will be 600 divided by 2, 300, 2500. So this one only has 2300 for health and uh, armor. Uh, we should be mathematically able to kill this in one shot, right? Because averagely we will do damage for 20, uh, 2500, I believe, right? Yeah, 2500. So this should kill right uh unless we are very unlucky but i will try actually uh okay okay so it kills okay we can kill and then after that the Pliny effect will kick in right we got 10 percent damage this should increase the damage yeah 2300 now it also kills one turn kill uh just like that and then we go i guess we can go here and try to kill this one probably i'm not sure um i'm not be able to kill that uh in one shot but at least we can reduce the uh, the armor, right? Yeah, just like that. Um, also, for the Raven, probably I will uh, divert this one. Just like that. And then I will have to go somewhere. Maybe go here, the same as previously. Uh, that's actually 
pretty interesting question. Where should I go next, right? Because I'm for sure will be hit by a lot of bandits. Actually, one, uh, two, three, I think, and then four with this one, as well as this one, five. Do I want to risk that, right? Do I want to get hit five times or four times or three actually? Because if I go here, I will not be get hit. I will not get. Uh, I will not be hit by this one over here as well as this one over there. So this going here probably a best idea, which I will actually do actually. Um, okay, just like that, and end my turn. Uh, next turn, I will kill the this bandit over here and then i can also um kill that oh i got hit that's unfortunate okay i miss a uh, nice uh oh also i revenge that apparently okay that one doesn't hit okay so um we hit some we also got hit some uh i think i will actually cut rid of this one first uh because this bandit will move right yeah hopefully we kill with nobody leaves uh, and that should be it. Now, I'm going to kill this. Hopefully, this kills. Actually, let's use this. Uh, just for the certain kill, right? 2400, this should kill. Just like that. Now, I don't have the pizza, right? If I have the pizza, I would have another action points. And I will probably kill with this, right? Now, let's take a look at the Pliny. We are at 30%. Uh, in theory, we should be able to kill uh, this one. Uh, yeah. The only thing that will not kill that, if it if it has the uh, miss, right? If it missed my nobody lives. But yeah, let's actually enter. Now for this one, I will... Oh, actually, I will blind this one probably. Okay, just like that. And I'll just end my turn simply. Um, okay, oh, okay, that doesn't move. Uh, and okay, uh, Raven miss. Uh, and Raven got killed. Okay, so this is pretty much uh, the end of my comfort zone, right? Uh, because after this point, I will actually have to deal with a lot of stuff, right? Um, okay, so let's actually kill first. Which one should I kill? Should I kill this one? Uh, this can kill, right? Yeah, this can kill. I think I killed that. Just like that. And then I will... Oh, I cannot... Um... Oh, what do I do now? Uh, oh, this is actually quite bad. Uh, okay, uh, think. Okay, let's think about this. Uh, should I do this uh, or do this or should I try for the kill? I think I'm going to kill actually. Uh, I have plenty for 40% now. Okay, so... Um, Actually, this one will move, right? Okay, so this one, all of them has terrain chance. It means that all of them can dodge my attacks, uh, but I think I will kill one of them first. Maybe I will kill this first, just because. Um, yeah, let's end the turn. Hopefully, I can uh, kill this one. Okay, I kill. Uh, okay, here we go. Uh, okay, that doesn't hit my lucky devil. Okay, this one does, though. Uh, but I can actually stun lock now, right? Yeah, I can stun lock. I can go here and then I can do this, right? Do um, damage using this and then those two will get stunned. Okay, so uh, I'm pretty much in good position here. But the thing is, how can I kill the last bandit, right? Um, so yeah, pretty much I'm done. I'm just ending my turn, saving action points. I will refresh three, right? Yeah, and then I can do this again. I just basically stun lock these two bandits. And then I still have another one. I guess I can start killing uh, this one first, the closest, always great. Uh, and then I'll just end my turn actually, right? And then I can do uh, kill this, I think. Uh, yep, okay, I kill. And then pretty much it, right? Uh, I end my turn. And then I save up, I think. Uh, save up my stuff. Also, I can kill from here, actually. Uh, oh, yeah, I can kill probably, right? Uh, 1300, that's uh, 10, uh, 11 plus 100, 1200. This should actually kill, actually. Oh, my battery is almost over. Okay. I guess this kills immediately, right? Yeah, okay. So there you go. Uh, I managed to kill the bandit base, actually. I got bullet wound in arm, but uh, that's great, right? Uh, by that, I mean... I managed to kill bandit base without um 
without armor actually surprisingly right um also yeah i know that i um kind of rely on the raven right but as you can see the raven actually died right uh the raven didn't actually survive long enough but i still managed to kill them i guess beat them right um so it works right uh, yeah i know i tr i triggered my lucky devil right which is pretty much unfortunate i would say because um it means that the lucky devil actually saved me right uh but the thing is that i can still win uh, without armor even right uh and that tells as you can see i have no armor i do have injuries after that though um but no armor right also this is the first time by the way i didn't actually came up with this uh didn't come up with this uh like uh, planned i just kind of tried right like um can i actually do this immediately and make video about it um apparently i can also yeah like as you can see firing range increase extra range i guess that works for the sniper at the farthest um the, the final sniper that i killed right um you know like um the sniper cannot hit me but i can hit the sniper right so it's always great to have that and then headhunter this is essential because 25 percent damage will be essential for the first two snipers right the two snipers in the center of the battlefield um you have to kill that no matter what in the first turn um so you know having this headhunter this acts as the berserk damage from the polar armor basically so you know uh Polar armor gives you 50% damage, but the, this one uh, kind of compensates for that, right? I still have 25% damage for this. And then the Pliny is just for safety, I guess, so that I can basically one kill um, the other sniper, right? Uh, and then the Uka, I guess this is just for action points by two starting action points, which, be, which is great. Um, I kind of didn't expect the closest bandit with me moved uh, to not move actually and that kind of caught me off guard right because the bandit actually tried to kill my raven which is uh, which uh, which fortunately missed right so um, I guess that works as well but the ideal will be that bandit moved and then after that it dies right because of the nobody lives and then the raven is not attacked and then it can basically tank another one right um so yeah and then the pliny just keeps stacking i guess it will eventually reach 50 percent which is you know basically the polar armor's berserk right so basically with pliny and the headhunter i give myself 75 percent damage uh while polar armors would have given i would have give 50 percent which i don't have right so even without the polar armor i can still do much more damage than having only polar armor right so there you go um that's how you i guess i kill uh the bandit base right um uh, i will take this i think um okay i didn't actually heal my hand first which is bad i should actually heal uh you should always heal your hand first or wound because you don't want that to be bad right you know the minus one health because you don't want that to kill you um also yeah these four i guess all this over here uh let's actually go back here um yeah i actually prepared three of them just so that if i died i can do another one but apparently i don't need that after all i only need one of them right mashed potato uka plini and chicken kiff um also chicken kiff quite interesting uh this looks like cardon blue chicken cardon blue um i might have to take a look about the original uh you know like the explanation about chicken kiff right just like i did with tola prianik probably in the future uh but yeah but until then uh thank you guys so much for watching this has been dr survival i managed to beat the bandit base even without armor i'm naked over there as you can see i also use the game mechanics in which that um you know your stat can go overflow right so i can extend my health to 250 and so can you actually um oh my phone is dead now basically okay so i think i'll be it for this uh video of the survival i hope you guys enjoy it until then stay stealthy until then uh, i will see you again very soon and see ya